Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From the Telegraph under the main headline of part throttling and go-karting. Max Verstappen v Charles Leclerc shows F1's future is now its reality. Summary of headline article. Not so much master v apprentice is apprentice v apprentice. Leclerc and Verstappen are both 24. Born just weeks apart. Verstappen is the older by 16 days. As a result, they have a totally different relationship to Verstappen v Hamilton. It was the same on Sunday. Leclerc congratulating Verstappen over the radio. There also appears to be notably less chippiness on the part of Verstappen towards Ferrari than he harbors towards Mercedes. Already there is a little bit of dislike for Mercedes, of course. Being the same age, Verstappen and Leclerc do have shared history. From Evening Standard under the main headline of Rooney makes Rashford demand and confirms desire for Man United return. Summary of headline article. Air Manchester United legend Wayne Rooney has called on Marcus Rashford to get his head out of his a asterisk e and break his goalscoring record. Rooney, also England's all-time top scorer, bagged 253 goals for United, four ahead of the previous record set by Sir Bobby Charlton. Rashford has just five goals in all competitions so far this season and is struggling for form. Under interim manager Ralph Rangnick, Wayne Rooney and Marcus Rashford were teammates at Manchester United. Getty Images, what I hope is that Marcus Rashford F asterisk 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 G gets his head out of his A asterisk E and goes and breaks that record. Rooney is currently impressing as manager of crisis hit championship strugglers Derby but has outlined his desire to one day manage at Old Trafford. From Evening Standard under the main headline of why Stokes should replace beleaguered Root as England Test Captain. Summary of headline article. A FTER England's latest grim defeat. Joe Root is hanging on to the test captaincy by grim death. Overall, he failed to win the Ashes. England's barometer series. In three attempts or overseas anywhere except Sri Lanka. Twice. And South Africa. He has been prone to tactical woodenness. Although he is not the first England captain guilty of that, think of his predecessor. Especially with his spinners. Timing has been unfortunate. He has been England's test captain in the first era that white ball cricket has been prioritized. Sometimes at his team's expense. It is worth wondering too if Stokes, fiercely loyal, would agree to take over from his great friend Root if he was fired. From the Guardian under the main headline of Mature. Professional. Calculated. Nick Kyrgios impresses in latest Miami win. Summary of headline article. Wildcard Nick Kyrgios brushed aside the challenge of seeded Italian Fabio Fognini to cruise into the last 16 of the Miami Open with a 6-2. 6-4 victory completed in just 61 minutes. However, Fognini rallied in the second set despite appearing uncomfortable between points, but perfectly fit during play. The Australian, eight years younger at 26, but ranked 102nd, was frustrated at this inconsistency as the match went with serve to 4-4. Kyrgios then stepped up a level to break serve before he closed out the victory. I wanted to keep the momentum going, Kyrgios said in his on-court interview. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Southgate explains frustrating England chat with Zaha. After Man United spell. Summary of headline article. England will play against Ivory Coast in a friendly and face a familiar opponent in Crystal. 
Palace's Wilfried Zaha with three Lions coach Gareth Southgate opening up on why he switched. Wilfried Zaha is the one that got away for England boss Gareth Southgate. Southgate has recalled organizing a hotel meeting with the Crystal Palace talisman to try to persuade him to commit to his international future England rather than Ivory Coast, the country of his birth. He's a talent. Wilf and a massive part of Palace's ability to have stayed in the league and now the progress they're making. Southgate was asked whether he thinks Zaha would get into the England setup and as a former Palace hero himself, was diplomatic. From BBC under the main headline of playing Miami Open was mistake, Azarenka. Summary of headline article. Last updated on. From the section tennis Victoria Azarenka won the Miami Open in 2009. 2011 and 2016 Victoria Azarenka says her personal life has been extremely stressful in recent weeks and playing at the Miami Open was a mistake after abruptly retiring from her third round match. Azarenka, 32, was in tears on court during her third round defeat at Indian Wells earlier in March. I shouldn't have gone on the court today. Azareka said in a statement. The last few weeks have been extremely stressful in my personal life, Azarenka posted on social media after the match. Azarenka has previously spoken about a long-term custody battle over her son that limited her playing time in 2017 and 2018. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Enrique, has many admirers at Man United as Spain boss. Emerges as manager target. Summary of headline article. Prior to his current role in international football, Enrique took charge of FC Barcelona during a hugely successful period for the club. Under Enrique's watch, the Blaugrana won two La Liga titles, three Copa del Reyes and the 2015 Champions League. For the past few weeks, the Spaniard has been viewed as a backup option while the Red Devils pursue the likes of Ten Hag or Paris Saint-Germain boss Mauricio Pochettino. Instead, the former RB Leipzig boss will begin a two-year consultancy role within the United boardroom. Who should Man United appoint as their next manager? From Metro under the main headline of Nick Kyrgios hits out at former tennis players for criticizing Emma Raducanu. Summary of headline article. Nick Kyrgios has defender Emma Raducanu from criticism. Picture. Getty. Nick Kyrgios has leapt to the defense of Emma Raducanu by calling out former players who have criticized her of late. Raducanu's latest struggles in 2022 saw her suffer a disappointing second-round exit to Katerina Sanayakova at the Miami Open this week. The British number 1 has won just twice in seven matches this season with her US Open winning form from last year yet to make an appearance. There's sponsors coming in and I get treated like a princess wherever I go. Futter s with old Retired players giving their opinion on our stars now. The Aussie tweeted on Sunday. What's with old retired players giving their opinion on our stars now? From Sky Sports under the main headline of Scotty Scheffler becomes world number one after WGC match. Play final win. Summary of headline article. Please use Chrome browser for a more accessible video player Scotty Scheffler. Ranked world number 5 going into the WGC match play. Moves to world number 1 after a 4-3 and three final victory over Kevin Kisner. From BBC under the main headline of Salisbury to become world number 1. Summary of headline article. Last updated on. From the section tennis Joe Salisbury has won 6 titles alongside American partner. Rajiv Ram Joe Salisbury will become the third British world number one when he ascends to the top.
of the doubles rankings on 4 April. Salisbury will replace Croatia's mate Pavic after he and compatriot Nikola Mektic lost in the Miami Open last 16. Salisbury also won mixed doubles titles at the French Open and US Open last year. Jamie Murray became first British world number under the modern ranking system when he topped the doubles rankings in April 2016. Andy Murray then became the first British singles world number one in November of that year. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.